19 and yesterday I did some double tonguing and I decided that I needed to work on that a little bit more. So today we are doing uh, excerpt, oh, I always say excerpt, uh, <laughs> orchestral musician, am I right? This etude from Kling's Horn School. And we're just gonna do number seven. It's a pretty simple exercise, but I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can uh, mess around with it and make sure that your uh, double articulation is super clear. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just play them like they are long tones. So, and with the same phrasing that I was hoping to get. Um, and let's do this all on the natural horn. All these cling things can be, and so, you know, might as well add a little extra resistance in the upper register. It feels uh, like you're getting a good workout in. All right. Mm -hmm. simple version of that you could hear on my C it was a little bit unfocused um, part of that was that I wasn't relaxing enough to get down to that uh, C I was a little bit on the higher side of it and so it caused a little bit of a crack so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to <laughs> do something that's kind of tricky so I'm going to do that long tone but where the 16th notes are what I'm going to do is flutter tongue on those 16th notes. So what that's gonna tell me is if my tongue is loose enough to actually achieve clear double articulation when I go to add the tongue back in. So let me just take the first one so you can hear what that's gonna sound like. Oh, excuse me, I didn't hear that pitch. Okay, so you could hear that my first flutter tongue wasn't as loose as I needed it to be. It was it was coming out, but it needs to be a little bit more relaxed in order for it to vibrate more. Still, first one wasn't as good. perfect and once again I'm chipping those C's um, so that's something for me to really focus on um, those C's are not coming out clear and that was telling me that when I add the tongue back in that if I was getting that free blowing flutter tongue that it would be a really nice clean articulation so let's see now that I did that work how that goes <laughs> Man, my ears are off today. Da 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 these today <laughs> all right so it was kind of okay I think um, because I'm flutter tonguing or not flutter tonguing double tonguing at a slower tempo um, that it's not as crisp and clear as it could be but I want to work on it at that slow tempo so that when I speed it up it's even better so now let's speed it up into a faster tempo we're gonna go dum da -ga dum da -ga dum dum da -ga dum da dum Okay, 
so that wasn't so bad. The other thing that you could do, this is a little bit of a weird, weird one. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear this, so let me bring it up on my face. <laughs> hey! Um, so, the other thing that I can do to try and get a clearer articulation for a double tongue is I can do this thing that I do called humming. So I'm gonna hum um, this entire exercise but I'm going to articulate inside my mouth with my mouth closed at the same time. Okay, so it's gonna sound like this. Oh, I can't hear a C. Okay, so if you can do that while you are, um, if you can do that while your mouth is closed, it's gonna get you that right tongue positioning when you are going to uh, use double tonguing. So give that out a try. I know that this is kind of a weird exercise, but um, it's kind of a fun one. <laughs> okay, it's really weird. I like it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>